Hello and welcome. It's so nice to see you joined me. In this NoteFlight tutorial, we'll be looking at how to import MuseScore into NoteFlight for piano teachers. We're going to import MuseScore into NoteFlight for piano teachers in this order. How to download a MuseScore and how to import a MuseScore into NoteFlight. If we haven't met before, I'm Monte Monique. I'm a multi-passionate certified K-12 music teacher and my passion is helping piano teachers just like you transition to teaching group piano lessons online. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a lesson. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hello and welcome in. So in this tutorial, we're looking at how you can import MuseScore XML files into NoteFlight. So the first step that you want to do is go to uh, your browser. I'm using Google Chrome, and you're going to type in MuseScore. and you will see usually it's the first result click on muse score and what will come up for you will be this window if you already have a muse score account then all you need to do is log in but if you're totally new to muse score you'll need to do two things first you'll need to create an account so you can log in and you'll also need to download um, the software because you need this to be able to access and do all the magic between MuseScore and NoteFlight. So once you've done that, then you'll be able to go into uh, the window that looks like this. So I have already logged in to MuseScore. Now, so I'm looking for a particular piece for one of my students. And the piece that I'm looking for is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. And then I also want to type in, because they're um, sort of late beginner, early intermediate, I'm gonna type in easy. The more narrow you can create your search, the easier it will be to find what you want. So let me show you, let's work together to see how you can narrow this down. If you um, have a lot of results, which usually MuseScore gives you. So the first thing that you need to decide, do you want an official score or a non-official score? An official score means that you are required to have a membership, which I suggest that you do because MuseScore is just amazing. They have so many options. But if you want to do the free version, you can click non-official score. So we're gonna go start with there. So it's totally free. And then the next way that you can narrow things down is by the instruments. So because I teach piano, we're gonna click on keyboard and then we're gonna click piano. And then public domain status is another important issue. And then you need to be able to choose which type of license. So do you want to um, resell this commercially, to use commercially, to share for personal use? So let's just say for personal use. All right, so this is for personal use and then solo ensemble that's given because it's just piano. So now we have a few different options and a couple of the ways that I like to um, look at the different options is I like to go in and cl click on several and take a quick listen. So I have selected two that I think that are going to fit my purpose for my music studio. So the first option that I like is this one here. And the second option I like uh, is this one. So I have two options that I've narrowed down and I usually like to listen just for a second. So you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, and then here is my second option. I'm gonna take a quick listen. Let's go back to the beginning. All right, so I like the articulation in my first choice. The so, next step is to download this. So you'll notice on the right-hand side of your screen, there are going to be a few different options. Now remember, we're taking this free public domain work and we're going to download it first so we can then upload it into NoteFlight and we can make it work for our students. So the first thing you'll need to do is click on download. Now, there are several different options and this is the easiest way that I have found. This works for me. If you know of a different way, share with me in the comments below. So the first thing I do is I open this in MuseScore. Now bear in mind, 
I already have the Muse score downloaded in my app because I've already logged in and I'm a member. So you will see here in the bottom of my screen that all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the arrow and I'm going to click show in finder and then there it is. So I'm going to click on that and there it populates in Muse score. Now that we have our score open in the Muse score app, the next step to download it, and remember we want to keep the score as clean as possible. We want to make sure that we save the articulation, make sure the notes are in the correct um, uh, voices and all of the details because it just saves us more time. So I'm gonna go up to my bar and under file, I'm going to click export. So under export, what I'm going to click is, there are a couple different options. If you go under, uh, I'm on an iMac, so I'm using Apple computer. There are a couple different options and the uh, option I'm going to pick, you have to make sure that you're using an XML file. Now, yes, this says outdated. If this is the only option for you, even though it's outdated, it still works. But I'm going to use the .music XML. So the XML is the important part. That's the tag. That's what you want. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to go into NoteFlight. So if you don't know what NoteFlight is, NoteFlight is, um, is a music software program. And this is what it looks like. I've already uploaded this because I wanted you to be able to see, but we're going to do the process again, just so you know. So I'm going to click inside my NoteFlight and I'm going to click create. And one of my options is going to be starting by importing XML or a MIDI file. So remember we saved, we downloaded that new score as a XML file. This is what we want. So click on this option and click choose file. And it will populate in your downloads or wherever you've saved it. Click on the file and click open. Now this is where it's really important. Make sure that you check all of these options. So original text position, original stem breaks, use original stem direction, slur direction, combine voices, optimize layout and click OK. And there you have it. It has populated into your note flight. Now the important thing here is that Inside NoteFlight, you can then share this with your students. There's so many different things. Let me show you briefly what you can do. So now we have the piece that we want for our students. I can share this out. So I'm going to click score details and I'm going to highlight um, the title here. Copy and paste. I'm going to save this done. I'm going to click the cloud arrow to save it. Make sure that you uh, click the genre. The difficulty is a beginner format, solo, cover art. I'm just doing this quickly. I do have other score, uh, other um, <laughs> videos that show you how in more detail how to do this part. But I think the most important thing about this is if you are looking for a piece that you want to quickly share, and let's say a student comes in and says, oh, teacher, I really, I really want to do this piece, and you don't have this in your, um, you don't have this in your Google Drive or your music resources, this is a quick way that you can share this with your students, you can share it with everyone, and it's super easy. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Again, it's very easy to download an XML file from MuseScore to NoteFlight, and be sure to let me in, know in the comment section below if you found this helpful and if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Ready to transition to teaching group piano lessons online? For more info, click here or copy and paste this link into your browser to download your free guide. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. For more music videos, subscribe to Move Over Mozart.